just making a quick video. I um, know the lighting isn't great, but it makes it a lot more authentic. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to share some of the stuff I've learned over the years. And the number one thing is probably you want to. trust your instinct and that might say oh what does that mean well the way you feel um, is what you know um, it, there's a lot of information that the subconscious mind picks up so yeah so just trust your instinct and sometimes you can be like, well, why do I feel so bad? Why do I feel so bad? And there's, you know, that can't be the truth. Well, it is. And like I said, you have to pay attention to it. Otherwise, you're going to, you know, be in danger. And I found that myself, you know found that myself, I woke up in a house share once, and I was like, oh, I need to start paying attention to my instinct, and ever since, you know, that hasn't happened, but, um, so, pay attention to your instinct, um, that's number one tip, anything else I've learned over the years, you need to... This would be for women. You need to like the woman. Now, there's like where you are attracted to the woman. But if you don't like the person, you know, she can feel that. She can feel, you know, that you just, you know, and even like I said, you know, you just, you know, attracted to her. You need to like her. You know, ideally both, to be honest. I'd, I'd say, yeah, it has to be both. You have to like the person and, you know, be 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 attracted. But it's important that you actually like the person. You know, if you... Even if you're unsure, you know, you have to be certain that you like the person. And then, like I said, so with that, it really is... <clears throat> with that you really need to date um different people and like i said sometimes you know affection can grow sometimes you know you can realize you know this person isn't isn't for me you know there's certain stuff that i don't like you know like i said um You know, like I said, shots, that's a big one. When I see women drinking shots, it's just, it's a turn off for me. You know, when they get too drunk, I don't mind. I, say, I don't mind them drinking alcohol. But when, you know, that's a turn off for me because it just, you know, I can't, you know, I don't want the worry of that. You know, my mother was an alcoholic. You know, I've, you know. I've never been an alcoholic, but I've drank alcohol in moderation. And yeah, like I said, I, didn't, I, I, I don't like hangovers. I don't drink to the point of hangovers anymore. Um, I don't completely eliminate it, but I'd never drink more than two beers. Um, I don't like, I don't really like drunk people. Um, so that's one and then I don't like I don't it's the uncertainty it's when you know like I said you know when you're on the same wavelength as someone and someone is showing you affection back you know I think you know um you're on to a winner with that. 
Um, so that's the number one thing is you know you like you like them, and it it took me a, a while to realize that. And then another point would be what I've learned over the years would be um, people, right? So people. When you're judging someone, and I, I never like judging people, but it's necessary. When you're judging someone, you have to say, right, well, yes or no. Don't. A lot of toxic people, you know, invite you. They invite you, and straight away, the smile and all of that, and it's like, you know, you feel like this person's perfect, but then. Soon or later, there's a lot of triggers, you know. There's a lot of triggers, and you really need to be smart, you know, and not. You don't want to be around someone who's triggering you constantly, you know. Like I've had that for years and years. My own mother used to trigger me constantly, you know. You don't want that, you know. Like I said, you don't want that. Okay, so hopefully this helps, you know. Um, right now, like I said, I'm happy with how I am. I think, yeah. I don't want to do the peace sign. I'll, I'll just leave it at this.